Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about solving problems involving percentage. We have the first problem. What is 15% of 500? We have to take a look at the given. We have 15% and we have also 500. We're looking for the percentage. And 15% is our rate and 500 is our base. We will use this formula, percentage over base times rate over 100, where 100 is the constant. Why did I choose this kind of formula? Because it's easier for my students to digest. All we need to do here is to substitute our n is the percentage over 500 is equal to 15 over 100. How to get the value of n? Just do cross multiplication. That's 15 times 500 divided by 100. 15 times 500 will give us 7,500 divided by 100. We can cancel the four zeros there. And that will give us 75 divided by 1 is equal to 75. The 15% of 500 is 75. Next question, find the 30% of 50% of 1000. We are still going to use the same formula, P over B equals R over 100. We will solve first 50% of 1000. We will substitute N over 1000 times 50 over 100. To get the value of N, just do cross multiplication. That's 50 times 1,000 divided by 100. 50 times 1,000 is equal to 50,000 divided by 100. Cancel the four zeros. We'll get 500. 500 is not yet the final answer. We have to find the 30% of it. We have to substitute N over 500 times 30 over 100. To get the value of n, we do cross multiplication. That will give us 30 times 500 divided by 100. We have to get the value of 30 times 500, that's 3 times 5, that's 15. Just add 3 zeros divided by 100. 15,000 divided by 100, just cancel 4 zeros and we'll get 150. The 30% of 50% of 1,000 is 150. Another question. 60% of the women inside the hall availed the poverty alleviation program offered by our government. If there are 300 women inside the hall, how many did not avail the said program? We will still use the same formula and we will substitute N over 300 is equal to 60% or 60 over 100. How to get the value of n? Just do cross multiplication. That's 60 times 300 divided by 100. 6 times 3 is 18. Just add 3 zeros divided by 100. We can cancel the 4 zeros there. That's 180 divided by 1 is equal to 180. 180 is not yet the final answer because we're looking for the one who did not avail the said program. So we will just subtract 300 minus 180 is equal to 120 women. So our final answer is 120 women. Next question. The price of the lot that Sir Mark bought last year was... 1,550,000 pesos. Now, the present price was 15% higher than last year. How much is the lot's market value now? We will still use the same formula and let's substitute N over 1,550,000 pesos times our rate which is 15%, that's 15 over 100 
and to get the value of n just do cross multiplication that's 1,550,000 times 15 divided by 100 we can just simply multiply 155 and 15 and then we will just affix the four zeros that will give us 23,250,000 divided by 100 just cancel four zeros that will give us 232,500 but that's not yet the final answer because we still have to add it to 1,550,000 and then that will be 1,782,500 pesos that is now the price value or the market value of the lot that Sir Mark bought last year. Now it is your turn to solve. Please write the answer in the comment section. Our question is Miss Cabiles with a salary of 35,500 pesos a month was given an incentive of 7.5% increase in salary because of her efficient work. What was her salary after her increase? I'll be waiting for your answer in the comment section. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time.